Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4 One Gun Run. I was so close to saying Skyrim Survival Mode there. You know, this is the One Gun Run of Fallout 4. That is the sound of my cooking station, not something gargling at me. All is good. And... Oh yeah, I've got chameleon gear, haven't I? Um, was I? I'm trying to remember what I was doing. As always, it has been a while since I've played la da 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 blah 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 blah. Okay, next level I'm getting that. Is there something I'm saving up for here, or did I just not spend the perk last time? This may take me a while to work out, but... Problem is, if I am saving up for something, I don't want to just waste this perk. But it doesn't look like I've got anything in particular. No, that's 27, that's 40. Next level I'll be getting that. Yeah, I think I'm able to take another perk here. Should be good, although I don't know what to take. You know what, I'm not going to take a perk right now. The simplest way to do this. And those brackets are shuffling already. It's not too good. Let's, yeah, switch to first person. Actually make this somewhat easier for myself. Anyone around? There's someone... Oh, is it just going to be you? Yeah, I think it's just going to be the guard up here. Yeah, okay, I've not actually got anything to worry about. Anyway, off to Diamond City, because I have a quest to carry on with. Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> You keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. And at this point, I feel you've probably all seen this whole section where I talk to Nick and run through, oh, it might be Kellogg, etc, etc. So I'm just going to skip over this little chat now. And now we go on to following Nick all the way up to Kellogg's house, and then he'll ask for the key. So let's cut ahead to him doing that as well, because we can just fast track this entire thing thanks to the power of editing! Woo! Cool, so now it's the point of getting the key from the mayor, and I don't have my charisma gear with me, but I doubt it will be a huge problem. I'm sure this will all go fine, and I won't have to kill anyone to get this. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Hmm, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. Not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Cool, so that was a bad start. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Yeah. I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Cool, so let's try and convince McDonough that we should have the key because we're lovely, aren't we? Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. 
I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Uh, let's try, but he's good kidnapper. Please, please, Charisma. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man, Kellogg, kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing. Yep, and... Oh. Okay, security's right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the key off of her. I believe there's two charisma checks we can try here. You're not getting that key for me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? So try the easy charisma check first. Please. All I want to do is find my baby. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before. Oh come on! Try the hard charisma check. It's important. You have my word. You really thought that would Nope. All right, gonna have to spend 250 caps on this. Reach an agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. Cool. So, yeah. I can't believe I managed to mess up. Oh, what's my charisma at? What is uh, special? I've got charisma 4. That's not even that terrible. Oh, that's annoying how I managed to mess up every single charisma check in the game that I could do right there. However, we have the key. Now let's head over to Kellogg's house. Kellogg must have left something behind. Alrighty, into Kellogg's house. Immediately open this thing up. And da-da-da! Free stuff everywhere, including two quantums. However, I'm going to do the full loot of this place, because I cleared out a whole bunch of carry capacity so that I could pick up tons of junk and bring it back to Hangman's Alley. Sweet, so, ooh, 20 10mm as well, that's quite nice. Yep, looted the place, carried on with the quest, now to just go outside and meet dog meat, but not before I take these bits. Can't forget to loot literally everything that isn't nailed down. Hello there, dog meat. Oh, you still got your bandana on, who's a good boy. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. And getting a clue is completed, and now Dogmeat's gonna run all the way over to Fort Hagen. However, we don't really need to follow him, it's not much of a concern, and I need to head back to the railroad anyway just to turn in a quest to Tinker Tom. So I think that'll be the next thing, after I've um, just dumped a bunch more stuff at Hangman's Alley. Alrighty, so I've actually got a tiny bit of armour modding to do, however before I do that... There should be... I haven't cleared them out already, have I? No, there's a whole bunch of raiders in this area over here who I think I'm going to kill because I'm going to be swimming along this way a fair amount and I just don't want to risk them getting in my way at all. So, can I... Yeah. Okay, these shots at range can sometimes be a bit tricky. And now I'm getting shot at, which is a disadvantage. However, I'm invisible, which is quite nice. And they're actually noticing me more than I'd like. Alright, let's get invisible, peek around the corner. Nope, you stopped moving. Thank you for dying there. I just I want to hit Mr. Power Armor guy, but the game is not letting me. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, he's clipped me there. Yeah, the enemies do blind fire, which can be a bit of a problem at times. Yeah, because you got to kind of stay out of their way when they do that. Can be dangerous otherwise. Um, and it's not letting me aim through those things, which is rather irritating. Oh, 
Okay, I'm just going to carry on taking a couple of shots here and there. Every time they start to shoot back, I'm just going to duck round here. Because, yeah. Fallout 4, despite not being everyone's favourite RPG, is a pretty well-made shooter. Cool, that's another one dead. And the shooting mechanics of it all make me very happy to play it just a bit more casually. Yeah. Sweet! I just got Idiot Savant on the Power Armor guy. That was a nice chunk of XP. I think that was more than for the quest I just completed. Yeah, that's why Idiot Savon is quite so good. You just get those moments where it's like, oh yeah, I'll just have all of the experience, please. And all oh, starting to get peckish. Not a big deal, though. Now, is there anyone left here? Brackets don't appear to be shuffling, so we should be good to just loot this place and see if there's anything nice for me in here. I just remember there's sometimes a dog around here, and I don't remember having killed it. So, I'm being a little more cautious now than I was, just in case. And, oh wow. That was some terrible, terrible stuff that he had hit on him. Okay, I do want to take pretty much everything, just because I'll be able to break most of it down. And yeah, some of it will give me nice bits of loot, and even the stuff that doesn't. It's just extra free stuff. And free stuff is always good to have. So, I have returned home after a bit of bartering and dealing with stuff, and... There's a fight going on right outside. Uh, will it be a problem? Don't think it will. I am now up to, yeah, well over 800 ammo. I have also slightly improved my gear. Let's stand up so I can show you. This now has painted and pocketed on it, so that's slightly better. And overall, just sold some stuff, dealt with some minor things. Uh, I need to drink and eat. This time. Um, I don't know if I want to leave those people near my settlement, is the only problem. But I think I'm going to, just because it's going to be easier for me to deal with. Cool. So, fed and watered. Now I'm just going to sneak out this way and swim all the way to where the railroad is. Alrighty, further swimming later. And I'm pretty sure I saw a searchlight just a second ago. So maybe swim a bit further down. Here should be fine. Yep, nobody around. All is good. It's always just very loud water. It's always just going out of the water. That's the real worry. Because you can obviously decide where you're going to go in. It'll be nice and safe there. But jumping out, you're always risking yourself to being in danger. So that's when I need to be fully alert, just in case there's a raider I'm about to bump into. Or something much, much worse. Pam wants you. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Cool, so we're gonna need to speak to Pam as well. That's good to hear. Use the back entrance. And too much traffic through the church and we'll burn this hideout. Really? Because I keep going through the church and it seems to be fine. I was power napping and whammo it hit me. Got some ideas on how to kid out deliver. Make your super badass gun even more well more. So check out my stock. I hope that actually means he's got stuff for me. Take a look. I will set you up, my friend. Does that mean... No, 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 don't need... Don't need... It'd be in mods, isn't it? And uh, yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, so he hasn't actually got anything better for me. But he started selling me armoured stuff, which is kind of cool. And... Hold up, hold up. I'm supposed to be turning in a quest to you. You must not be afraid of heights with all the work on the Mila project. You got the time? I got another site we could place another one of my babies. Oh, and get another one. Some I gotta go. Right you are. Cool, so what useless junk did he give me with the caps? Because there's always something Ooh, actually. Uh what are on my arms? 
Ah. Metal ro oh, it's it's nice having it shadowed as well, but it's not actually that good for me to have. That kind of sucks. He actually gave me something half decent for once. So I'm not going to complain too much at him, although I have two pipe pistols, which I'm just going to sell off quick. Ham. Processing. Further supplies needed to maximize defined goals. You are tasked with finding another DIA cache. I can recover it. Location of cash being transmitted to your pip boy. Conversation terminated. And I don't think I actually need to do this, but I figure having the additional quests always worthwhile. In RPGs, you do just tend to pick up all of the quests and just do whichever ones please you. It's the easy way to go about things. Alright, I've just put down all the quests I might end up doing and put them all on the map. I find this is a quite a good way to kind of plan my routes. And by the looks of things, yeah, I think plan for next episode is set up Mila right near Hangman's Alley and the wreck of the USS Riptide, which is very handy. Then after that, head up through this way and yeah, report back to Caretaker to do the whole Mercer safe house, just finish that off. And then down here, I think it is, is Fort Hagen? Somewhere around there. Yeah, I'll just head down that way, and we'll carry on with the main story. However, that will all be for next time. As always, thanks for watching. Do like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and haven't yet, and have been binge-watching this series up to, like, episode 16, I think this is now? Yeah, so plenty of content on the channel. Keep watching. Yay, all good. But that's all from me for now. Sarge out.